last week, I had a great conversation with somebody. He works for a nonprofit and he has a copy of my book, Guerrilla Data Analysis, second edition. And he was excited to tell me about something that he got from the book. He explained to me that the nonprofit ran a mail campaign. So let's say they spent $5,000 on printing envelopes, stamps, maybe buying pizzas for envelope stuff and volunteers, but $5,000 and $5,000 came in through the mail. So they broke even after all of the hassle. So you start having discussions about whether it was worth your time or not, because what he was looking at was reports. And reports are summaries. We got $5,000 through the mail and we spent $5,000 trying to do this. But you also see that maybe you generated $20,000 through online donations. Obviously, let's stick with the online. Let's just fork over the $5,000 that we got via the mail because it was a hassle. But because he had been looking at my book and at pivot tables, he started to get a sense of disaggregating the data, meaning get a data dump, get all of the information out of the database around the donations and the mail campaigns. And once they had all of that data, then they were able to, in his words, Track the narrative. Tracking the narrative means we know who we mailed. We know who we called, how many times we called people, who are the people that didn't get mail but were only contacted online via email or whatever. He was able to put the pieces together and see the mail campaign was critical. The people who were contacted via mail, a lot of them went online and made their donations. But it was critical that he had the instinct, that he had the drive, that he gave enough of a damn to want to look deeper than what this simple report said. And this is something that I've written blog posts about is when people have asked about what does it take to you know interview for Excel skill, I think it's more important to find people who have that kind of instinct and that kind of passion. The people who will get up off their ass and go dig and probe and pick and ask questions. So one lesson we get is about the type of person who will use the right tool to dig and probe and pick and get some insight. Also, he showed himself as somebody who can work with data dumps. Sometimes you got to be an animal and that's what data dumps are. That's when you have got an animal because reports are data that's been nice, cooked, neatened up, sat on a plate with your fork, knife, and spoon next to you. That's a report. A data dump, that's when you get in there with your bare hands and put your mouth right down on the meat and rip it out and bite it. That's being an animal. That's when you say, you know what? I'm tired of playing here. There's no more playing here. It's me or you. And I'm telling you, it's going to be me. That's the attitude that you want a good analyst to have. You need that. And he showed that he had that. So here's another question I asked him. You mentioned a data person in part of your story. He mentioned how 
she might have helped him run a SQL query to get the data out. Why didn't she track this down? Why didn't she give him a better report? The answer, her role is to keep the website up. She deals with data as far as the back end of the website and keeping that orderly. Reports, reporting, ad hoc inquiries into the data just because you're curious. That's on the staff. That's not on the person whose responsibility it is to keep the website up. So the word that comes to me is nimble. Excel can be nimble. You can get ad hoc reports. You can get data dumps out of it. Excel can help you to probe and pick and be difficult. Because that's what this is. When you get animal with data, you've been difficult. And that's what we need. That's what we need from our analysts. What we learn here, pivot tables helped this person to go beyond report summaries, disaggregate the data and see a much larger story and make better decisions. We saw that we need people who can dig and give a damn and want to know. We learn that we have different roles. The data person, her responsibility is keeping the website running. She's not supposed to respond when you say, I'm just curious. Can you give me a report? not her role and really as he explained the story to me this was nobody's role because when you have a small nonprofit you have people with formal titles you have the executive director you'll have some donor relations person program development, maybe a grant writer whose job is get the data. They're in the title called get the data. So you need somebody who's willing to take that walk to the shoot and get on top of that bull. And when he's on top of that bull, strap himself in tight, and he gives that nod to the gate man and the latch man. And they open that gate, and that bull comes out of there. All of that data. Do you have an analyst? who can ride the whole eight seconds.